the Steelers are back deep, waiting for the kick return. And Billy Cundiff looks ready to get this one underway. touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. And now we've got what you'd call the wildly veteran at quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Yeah, when you're a quarterback like this and, and you've had success, you go out in the field, you can't wait for the game to start because you veterans think only good things are going to happen to them. So they're confident and ready to go. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Double tight end formation. The handoff, the pin tape, and he gains maybe three. Now looking at third down. The handoff, the pin tape. They're all over him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. Well, when you have good team speed on the defensive side, you can make plays just like this. You can get it in the backfield and tackle the running back for a loss. Fourth down, close to the first, so the offense stays on the field. We'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. He makes the catch. Gains 11. Bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator. It's fourth and short. There's only a couple plays you know the offense is going to run. They were not ready, and they give up a big first down. He's scrambling now. Very nearly intercepted. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot, and the throw goes incomplete. It's Tate in the backfield. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. What a good job of the quarterback that time. He saw the defensive back inside the wide receiver, and he leads that wide receiver to the sideline on that corner route. Staying with the passing game on first down. That's an interception. Steps out of bounds. All fits are going to stop. Game here with a timeout. First down on the way. We'll go shotgun here. Got the completion. Picks up eight here. The Browns coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down. Run and pass. That time, the pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards now in second and short. Second down and two. Miles Austin hauls it in. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. They face first down. Arian Foster lined up in the backfield. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Foster tackled down. Well, when you have a successful draw play, a lot of times it's up to the quarterback. As he's dropping back, if he holds that football up and makes everybody think it's a pass, it works. And then when he hands it to the running back, look at it. That's a gain of eight. The big spoon, that's Arian Foster. He makes it look so easy. He goes outside off tackle, and he can cover a lot of yards with those drives, and he gets a first down on that run. First and ten. He'll stay on the ground on first down. Games five. Game five. 
Coming up, second down. Offense lines up here. No room to complete that one. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. The Browns come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Makes the reception. He stacked up at that point. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. The Browns in the pistol. Now first and ten. Has his man. They bring him to the turf. The Browns have speed on the defensive side, no doubt about it. And when they're backed up, they don't have to worry about players going by them because they're in the red zone. They become even faster. Way to get to the football on that throw and catch. And they stop the play for a short game. Foster on the screen. And picks up maybe three or four. When they talk about it's third down lead, you got to pick up third downs to, to have success and win football games. Good play call, good pass, good catch. Now it's third and short. I like the offensive chance. Throws to the right. Mile touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Steelers set to return the kick. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down coming up. Let's go. Keeps it here. And Joe Hayden has the interception. Running room. Browns are in the end zone for the touchdown. You gotta love the defense. It's not afraid to take chances. And this defense will get after it. That time they get the interception and return it all the way for a touchdown. The Steelers set to return the kick. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Steelers now will start their drive at the 23. First down and 10. Toss to the outside. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Tackles made and had to move the chain. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. The Steelers from the 37. Flip to the outside. Got a big lane. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. We don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. Steps up and fields it at the two. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Hey, 
And the quarterback gives it to Arian Foster. In the end, it picks up only a yard. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. So that's going to do it for the first half. Browns are up here in this one. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios. And halftime, we're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Browns bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Around, snap it at the 26. Space to work. Unstoppable. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Inside, and he's home for the touchdown. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done. And this team definitely has one. Billy Cundiff ready for the kickoff. And he'll step out. The Steelers are getting set for their next possession. Offense lines up here. The Steelers take it from the 28. They're going to get him here for a sack. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time the right side of the line collapses and it leads to a sack of the QB. It's away from the pressure. Room to work. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. Third down. Offense lines up here. Just a quick drop back. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. Offense lines up here. The Steelers from the 37. Toss to the outside. And that'll stop the play right there. I'm not going to disagree with the coach at all making that decision. Fourth and short. He just figures his offense. We can get this. Well, he was wrong. Now you hope the defense can come out there and stop it. First down at the 38. To the outside. Foster. He's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. In a tight game, Phil, it's been fun watching these two running backs go back and forth, dominating the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the running backs have been dominating so far today. So are both teams' offensive lines. They have gotten it done. And listen, I'll say this to the defense. You better dig in there and tough it up and try to stop these running backs. They'll run it here. Gets about four yards that time. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football, too. The Browns from the 27. Looks but hits the neck on the short throw. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it, but what a job of him. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job on the offensive line. Third down on the way. Shotgun look here for Brian Hoyer. Dropping back now into the shotgun. That can't ball comes out. A recovery by the defense. He's brought to a halt. That's what you call a take away. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the bumper. 
first down here. Split backfield here. He'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Second down. And here we have second down. Split backfield here. Get ready. The final quarter begins with this snap. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Nickel formation for the defense here. Almost intercepted. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Out of the shotgun. Catch made. And he's brought to the ground. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corner. First down at the 25. On the money. Jim, when you're down multiple scores in the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. As we've seen today, this is a team that's dedicated to the run, and it's paid off with some very good stats on the ground. Well, it shows you what the coach thinks. He believes in running the football, and when you believe in it, what happens to your football team? They become tough, and they have shown that toughness here today. That's why they have such a good ground game going. Good job by the defense. They disguised that blitz. They waited, and they timed it perfectly, and the quarterback not able to make the pass protection change and not being able to make that pass protection change, well, ends up in a sack for the defense. He caught it. Now we reach the two-minute warning. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. Let's see how they back up Let's the go. big play here. Keeps it on the play thing. Clay Matthews in the face of the quarterback. You've got to be quick and decisive when you're down near the goal line and you throw the pass as a quarterback. That time he was not, and he takes a huge sack. Snap it out of the gun. A near interception by Whitman. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Play after play after play here on this drive. Out of the shotgun formation. And that pass is swatted away incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. The defense comes out of the nickel. From the gun. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Well, I'll just say this, Jim. When you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. And that's a two-yard game. That's second down coming up. Offense lines up here. He'll go Brown. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Look up at that scoreboard. You're leading the football game, so we have a third and long situation. So you've got to know that. Manage the game. Don't take a chance. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Third and 12. Go run it. Here's the handoff. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The punter awaits the snap. He'll have a 
chance for a return. Watkins taken down. 